The men and women tasked with the defence of the nation, but has the government left them exposed? Their personal information hacked in a huge breach. Names, bank details and in some cases addresses. Sky News understands the government is blaming the Chinese state. Mr Sharps, are you scared of upsetting China? That question dogging ministers. Sky News exclusively revealed the hack on Monday night and the belief across Whitehall that it was orchestrated by China. But no public blame from the government today. The Defence Secretary in the Commons not naming the culprit. In recent days, the Ministry of Defence has identified uh, indications that a malign actor gained access to part of the armed forces payment network. And pointing the finger at an outsourced contractor. The House will wish to note that it is operated by a contractor and there is evidence of potential failings by them which may have made it easier for the malign actor to gain entry. The man he wouldn't name, Chinese President Xi Jinping, today starting a visit in France. Warmly welcomed here, but tensions with NATO allies are growing. Beijing said the hacking accusations were completely fabricated and malicious slanders. Few in Westminster believe that denial. And it's, it's becoming obvious. And senior backbenchers want more explicit action from government. I believe that the, the Defence Secretary could well have stood at the dispatch box, given what they know, and said it is believed that it is China, not some malign actor. It is believed that this was China that had hacked our systems. I think, honestly, he probably wanted to do that. But I suspect that somewhere else in government, maybe the Foreign Office, maybe the Treasury, has said, oh, no, 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 we don't go doing that. We don't upset China. The compromised payroll system was run by contractor Shared Services Connected Limited. The company's website celebrates its work with the MOD and its secure financial services. Experts say it's a rich target for a hostile state. It might, depending on how far you can get into bank and card details, allow you to look for potentially vulnerable people. And that's a classic espionage technique where you can put pressure on vulnerable people. The other thing is China, as we know, steals gargantuan volumes of data elsewhere. And if you can put things together, then perhaps you can build that richer picture. Some in Whitehall are baffled at the decision of ministers to blame China in private, but not in public, particularly given China's angry response today, which suggests there's little to be gained from holding back. China seeks to dominate as an economic and technology superpower. Is the British state strong enough to respond? Sam Coates, Sky News, Westminster.